A 2018 federal judge's ruling may still be impacting Native Americans' right to vote in the state. The law requires all voters to show an ID with a current address at the polls, impacting a large portion of tribal members who do not have a permanent address. As Renee Cooper reports, although a settlement was reached between tribes and the state, it doesn't exactly work in a mail-only election. Instead of permanent addresses, many tribal members only have P.O. boxes on their tribal ID. Although the ID itself is acceptable, the address is not. So the settlement reached in April allows Native American voters who do not have or do not know their residential street address to point out where they live on a map. But with no polls open for June, a lot of questions remain. I can't speak on behalf of, of the number of people that may not get a an application for a ballot simply because at the front end of things they have a post office box mailing. What we're trying to argue here is even if you get your mail by post office box, that's not supposed to restrict us from being able to vote. The North Dakota Secretary of State tells me although your ballot application has to have some sort of residential address on it, your ballot itself can be mailed to a P.O. box. So what is the Secretary of State's office doing to make sure everyone gets an application and can fill it out properly. The Department of Transportation, in fact, is going out to all of the tribal locations within the next week uh, to make sure that uh, non-driver uh, identification cards are issued. We're in, in contact uh, with the, the tribal governments to make sure that all of those situations are, are covered because that's part of the settlement agreement. But the problem, according to Chairman Fox, is that one day in one location on short notice likely won't be enough to help all tribal members in need of assistance. And so people will have to make the time to be there, go through their own expense to try to be there. Our staff is going to jump around and our, our system is going to try to Make sure they got the, the map and grid system to be able to sit down and say this is it. And, and we expect that that is going to deter some people from having to jump those hoops to get it done. Chairman Fox says tribal officials are working on a more ongoing solution. We're going to make that effort to if a person doesn't have a physical address on their current tribal ID, we will help them uh, go and get a new ID that shows physically where they live on the reservation. You know, we're not going to just limit that to a one-day situation. That's going to be Monday through Friday and thereafter as necessary. At the end of the day, without a doubt, Chairman Fox says... It is going to cause a situation where uh, Native American people are not going to vote at the numbers that we should be voting out. He says although the tribe hasn't made any big objections to the process for the June election due to time constraints, the chairman says he expects a totally different situation come November or he will raise opposition. But it shouldn't have to be that difficult. Voting in America and voting in North Dakota or anywhere else on our reservation shouldn't be that difficult. He says between now and then, MHA Nation will be working with the state to get over these hurdles, hopefully for good. We're in constant dialogue uh, with the tribal governments. We were trying to get it covered as, as, as best as we can, I, and I think we're, we're doing a very good job. I'm not saying the state's not trying. Uh, the leadership under the governor is not trying, but we need to do more. Reporting for KX News in Western North Dakota, Renee Cooper. For information about when the DOT will be on each reservation, you can head to our website, kxnet.com. Another potential access issue for all North Dakotans is